Kathleen Heffernan, expert chef, bikini model, personal trainer. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple recipe. It's called spaghetti squash. It's um, super easy. The only ingredient in the whole recipe is this spaghetti squash right here. There's a couple different ways that you can cook squash. You can either boil it or you can bake it in the oven. So I like to just bake it in the oven because it's got a lot less cleanup and prep stuff. You kind of have to hack into it, which is kind of scary, but just watch your fingers. And then, <laughs> okay, it's not easy, but um, you just want to get rid of the seeds and stuff on the inside because that stuff's gross. Um, and it's no good for, uh, it's just got a gross consistency. You don't want to eat it. So just take it and toss it out and then basically like scrape it out with a spoon and you bake it for about anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes, anywhere from 375 to 425 degrees. And I usually cook at 425 for about 35 minutes because I like to get it over and done with. But anyways, this is what the squash looks like at the end. And you just basically scrape it out. Now this is going to surprise you, but check this out. Look how much it looks like a spaghetti. It's, um, it's, it's a vegetable and it, uh, it mimics spaghetti just beautifully. So it's pretty amazing because look at this, how you can spin it with your fork and it just looks just like spaghetti. So you can trick your brain and your body into thinking that it's eating something unhealthy, but you're going to get way better results than you would with any kind of wheat pasta. So you scrape it out and you put it in the bowl. I like to pan fry it with coconut oil, uh, some garlic, fresh herbs from my herb garden, and the fresh lemon juice or lime juice is really yummy, and maybe some chili peppers. There's so many options with spaghetti squash. It's, it's endless, just like pasta. For this recipe and tons of recipes like it, enter your email in the box over here, or if you're watching YouTube, click the link below. Thanks for watching.